Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Chapter 3. Previously, we played the first half of the first half of Chapter 3. Yes, the first half was split into two halves. And in that half, we met someone who may be our final antagonist. It's dark. Where is this? Punch, KJ, punch. I want out of here. Why did I join the police? Well, I guess you could say I was looking for something. Let me out of this cage. Do so strong fists. What am I gonna name my kid when he's born? Huh. It's gonna be a good manly badass hero name you can trust. Gah, ah, ah. Wow, I'm in this game. Give me out of this darkness. Now. Let me out! Let me out of here! Calm down, Gagey. Uh, don't be so quick to resort to punching. Surely I taught you that. Right, Gagey. No, get away from me! Keep punching, KG. Those arms were made for something. Aside from hugging. The coffin went silent. Sheesh. So you finally settled down. He must be awfully scared of his execution. <laughs> and it's been such a while between the episodes, I tend to forget um, my reading tones for all the characters. I have to kind of remember them on the fly. What did this happen? Keiji lost the fight against Midori. And now he's trapped in that center coffin. Since the dummies' lives were on the line, they weren't able to assist us. Because of that, now there's a rift between us and the dummies. What can we do? Alright, the game begins. That's just for the... Let's see what else we got here. Transceiver. Voice recorder. Let's not worry about that right now. Midori is looking this way gleefully. Talk. <laughs> so much for his show of pretending to get along with the dummies. Ask how to save KG. Let KG out of that coffin! I told you, there's only one way to save him. Just sign this, and I'll tell you. Hold on, I don't... I don't even know what this says. You'll give me all your Pokemon cards. I mean... You don't know. No time to worry about that. Surely. The coffin's execution timer is already taking down. By the time all this sand has fallen, he'll be getting torched. You'll be smelling a delicious cagey steak. Mm. Stop it! Ah, I can't wait. It's my first time using this fancy new coffin. I wonder just how he'll die. I won't let you execute him. You you can't. <laughs> then let me hear your answer. What will you do? Hmm. Midori, he's serious. That consent form. In essence, it must be a slave contract, agreeing to whatever might be written there. Abandoned KG? Sign the consent form. I'm assuming this might be a non-answer. Like, if I choose sign, it's someone's gonna stop me. Uh, Alright. I'll sign it, so hurry up and save KG. Wait, no, maybe I did sign it. This is the only choice I can make. 
If just saying this paper can help, then I... Huh? I won't let you. Ranmaru. You... you tore it up, Ranmaru. M Mr. Policeman. The hell are you doing, Ranmaru? Kitaro, are you still dead? Gah! We gotta corroborate here, guys. Nope, you're just bleeding. Why would you do something like that, Ranmaru? Useless. Ridiculous. There was no need to do that. What do you expect, stupid? How awful. Tearing up the form. Damn, Ranmaru. What's the matter with you? Please explain yourself. This is just cruel. Do you not even care about saving Keiji? Maybe so. If he killed Midori now, though, we dummies would die. Objective incomplete. But then Keiji wouldn't have picked a fight knowing that full well, didn't he? Yeah. He's gonna as just asserts. Reckless dumbass. So you want to sit there and get executed? As I feared, our groups are just incompatible. There's no way we can cooperate now. The air is chilly. We've been torn apart. Too far apart to walk back to a compromise. But I don't care about that right now. I need to know why he'd do such a thing. And Maru. Don't fall into their hands, Sarah. Hello? What are you on about? Just listen to me. Keiji. What are you thinking about right now? Keiji's voice comes weakly from the coffin. I think I have trapped in a dead coffin. This sucks. It's all... My fault. I thought I'd avenge him. So I... No. That's not it either. I tried to put all the blame on all Midori. For everything. Both for the fact that I shot my idol. And for me not saving Megumi in the first trial. Even when those were my own actions. Kyutaro put his life on the line to build a bond with the dummies. And I just... I... If I just die here, I guess I can't complain. What are you saying, Keiji? I hate letting you die. Huh? We're gonna save you. Ourselves. Without relying on Midori's damn contract. Huh? We? Speak for yourself. You still want to be buddies with these guys? We betrayed them first. Yeah, stabbing in the back. As in literal stabbing in the back, not like symbolic stabbing in the back. Although it was also symbolic stabbing in the back. Kind of bad. We stabbed Kyutaro to survive. And he forgave us, right? Now, it's our turn to forgive them. You're trying to say we'll be even then? Doesn't it frustrate you? We're just Midori's toys. Literally, your toys. First he kills us, then he brings us back to be put in collars and used. We didn't even try to act while Sarah and the others were fighting. So scared to die, that we can't even resist. That just makes us... his puppets. But... we're humans. We create our own choices. I'm not gonna play along with Midori's puppet show anymore. Create our own choices. Understood. I understand. I'm sure I can believe those words. Right. There certainly is a way to save him. I wouldn't want to lie in a negotiation, you see. You swear it. 
as a floor master? But you know, I think it'll be too difficult for the likes of you. I'm certain KG will die. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Would you walk away without me breaking your legs? And maybe pulling out your hair? He left. Well, we have no choice but to act. You'll be okay, Meow. We still got this time, Wan Wan. Just so we're clear, I'm not going to help. At any rate, first we need leads. Midori won't save us. Kermana and the others, I'm sure they know that. I can finally hear Keiji's voice inside. Shake the coffin! Sarah. Busted. Better save my game again. Inspect the coffin. This is the coffin Midori was in at first. Nothing looks suspicious about it, but... When this sand reaches the bottom, the cremation device will activate. I can't let that happen. Talk to him. KG, how are you feeling? About as well as someone in a coffin would be. It's kind of dark and cramped. He's sounding a little more like his usual self. You know... I might have thought of a way to open this coffin. Huh? Open the map. Look at 4-5. In the center, is the control room. We never anything of interest there. What's he referring to? I'll point out anything that seems promising. The center council or the caller? This caller? You mean the call at Midori had on my first. We picked it up and now KG has it. Sorry to say, but not what I'm talking about. Oops. Guess I phrased it badly. A certain monitor caught my interest. When it's on? A monitor. This monitor. I remember the screen. It said, Coffin Control System. Could this be... A clue! A monitor controlling the coffins on this floor? It's, it's called Coffin Control System. Maybe it could even open coffins up. Yep. Seems worth looking into, right? Damn right. Good memory. Guess we gotta go check. Please, just hold on, KG. Counting on you, partner. Nice. All right, team. Let's go. Gutaro, you stay here and keep bleeding out. I'm gonna save my game. Hey, Gutaro, remember that time you almost betrayed us all and we almost all died? Ah! Plan on going to the control room. Shorty, don't just sulk. You come too. Meow. Let's forget the collar pairing. If I get too far from KG, my collar explodes. Right. Hinako was paired with KG. In the end, we're slaves robbed of our freedom. We have to kill our masters, or we'll never be let free. Take a reality check, you people. The monitor reads coffin control system. Alright, Sarah, work this thing. Me? Not only mine, but it might be better if someone who knows more about machines could. I'll give it a try. Hopefully my work experience can come in handy. You really gonna help her? <laughs> Beep boop hacked. Hayasaka has intently works machine. Huh? What's the matter? Could you look at that mill machine for me? Now what's this? Gimmick security. Unlocked. Level 1, 2. Locked. It seems to be security for the various devices. I suppose the more important the gimmick, the higher level of security on it. In other words. We just smash. We can just smash this middle machine. 
That's a Sarah Chido and I know. No! What are you, some kind of berserker? If we can disable security, we won't even be able to open the coffins in the cemetery. How are we gonna find a way to do that? Well, what about this for one? That's... a fingerprint scanner. A fingerprint scanner. We put the right finger on this panel, so we just need to chop up Minori's finger. I'm all for that. Well, I'll be. Seeing the path forward now. Let's all put our fingers on it, meow. You have paws. Everyone present put their fingers to it, but there was no response. Hey, you, take off your gloves. You think about it. It's got one Midori's fingerprint. We don't know for sure yet, Mal. Let's have Muscle Grill and the others in the cemetery fight too, Wolf Blanwan. No. Kitaro's badly injured. Can't exactly move from there. Come to think of it, there might be a first aid kit to treat his wounds at the office. Meow, yeah, really? Soon as specs? I did work at a medical equipment company, so. The office. Let's go check. Where. this office? There. Shiny. The shelves are full of documents and medical supplies. There really are medical supplies here. Leo, that's good. Let's take anything that might be useful. I'll help now. Obtain the first aid kit. Guitar, I'm here to heal you. Ah! Bread. My. You're awake. My. Apologize! Now, apologize. Ah. What you did? Is there something I can forgive? Oh. I'm very angry, Mai. He? Lay it off at Sarah. Don't throw blame at her. Please. Kutaro. Did I tell ya? We'll be real allies. What in the world? Are you being serious? You bet your ass I'm serious. So give up trying to kill me. Instead, let's think of how to leave together. I don't get you. I I tried to kill you, remember? How can you say that to, to someone who stabbed you in the back? Stop it. I'm horrible. I'm the worst. I'm stale bread. That doesn't change nothing. If I were in your shoes... I know you'd do that, Kutaro. Don't you? Don't you talk? I know you would do that. You did it in all turn around. You were the only one to survive. You betrayed us all but Kutaro. No room to talk, okay? If I were in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. Just didn't get the opportunity to. Yeah, that's right. We're all the same. Our hearts have been reduced to pulp. Pushed to the brink. We can only barely think about us being allies. That's all it is. So I'm gonna make you regret it. Regret giving us new allies, that is. Have you tried to explain it to me? I just don't get it. Why? Why is Kutaro so optimistic? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Sorry. I hate moving anytime soon. Stay in for me, will ya, Sarah? He looks pained. We found the first aid kit. Show us your wound again. For money. You're serious? Oh, 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 oh. Stop that. You shouldn't move. Kutaro's wound was treated. Real grateful, everybody. I mean, sorry, everybody. We'd love to let you rest more, but... Sorry, but you'd come with us? Huh. You found something, eh? Sure did. Come on, Kutaro. Take my shoulder. Hold on. Let me do it. I swear I won't get any more funny ideas. Please, I... I got you. My, let me lean on your shoulder. Kitaro, you're huge. All right. How nice to see, even after all the stabbing. You plan to go make friends with the first bandaged monster then? Shut up.
A fingerprint scanner, eh? We'll try it too. Kitara put his finger on the sensor. The machine showed no response. <laughs> Dang, useless fingerprints. Useless. Sure enough, it didn't work. Well, I suppose I'll try too. Mai put her finger on the sensor. Huh? Ah, see? It's her because it, it's a high chance we would um not trust her. Or we would like destroy her or something. So she would most be least likely when to come to the office. Why did my fingerprint? The monitors. Reach dummy's control system. Press save. Hmm? Hey look, it's green hair AI. On this screen, you can check the stats of the dummy's bodies. Whoa, what the? It's a Shin AI. Seems to explain for us, huh? Currently being displayed is the information for Red Mario Kageyama. In the center, you can see the remaining battery for the head and torso. Battery? It's gone down this much. The head and torso have a separate battery. In the right and left hands, here display your upgrade parts. Oh boy, get Mega Busters. Upgrade parts? The hell are those? Also, if there's a personal info you want, such as preferences, learn knowledge, or people he likes. Can you think about upgrade parts, everybody? Hmm. Um, if they're hand parts, then I guess you'd like attach something, yeah? Right, good point. My hands, huh? Huh? My hand! Well, that's one way to take a hands off approach. My hand! Whoa! Cut a cat and calm down, meow! Uh huh? I, I, I'm really. Yes, you're a doll. A doll, huh? What? I, I mean. Sure, I didn't know that. But still, some part of me just. thought maybe. Hope. He hadn't completely given up. Even being shown a video of his own death. Somewhere deep down, he still felt he was a human. Now, he's had the reality thrust in front of him. The reality of what he is. Renmaru. What does it matter? It doesn't, right? Huh? Now you get Mega Busters. Do dolls cry for shit like that? Thinking to yourself you've given up, but still having hope? That's being a human. Humans always struggle on, dealing with contradictory feelings, right? The way I see it, you're plenty human. So be proud, one, don't you? You're alive, Renmaru. Reiko. So stop being a wuss and get moving. Can you stand, Renmaru? I'm okay. Some man you are, blubbering on the floor. Huh, I wasn't crying. <laughs> That's a bit of a bold claim. They reached dead caller control system. What's all this in? This screen lets you mess with the functions of dummies' collars. The pairing function causes the collars to explode if they get too far from a designated survivor. The life sensor function enables exploding when the dummies run out of battery. Uh-oh. The hell? I didn't hear nothing about that. If not for that, the dummies could just be charged to come back to life, see? Charge? So which function will we modify? Can, can we do both? The pairing function is currently on. What will you do? Turn off? You serious? You're gonna give us free roam? Hinako will be glad to hear it. It'll make it easier to take your lives. If you're fine with that, go ahead and do it. Kuramata, I want to find out whether you can really trust us or not. So, we should demonstrate that. The red lines that den denote us as master and servant. The chains shackled to us so that we would kill each other. None of that's necessary. Because I know the power from believing each other is stronger than anything.
So, now the pairing is disabled, right? Well, we better go tell Hinako. All together! Let's save. Because it's interesting that they split those off. Is there a negative to... Sorry, but you can't disable the life sensor function. Ah, uh, okay. Be a little too easy. Fix it, Sarah. Can we start a little more meow? I guess he's right. It's showing more than before. We can use this now. Alright. Let's keep an eye on the cameras and see what we can do. What would you like to do? Open shutter? Alright, let's open it. Huh, nothing happened. What now, Meow? Try something else, Wamon. Wan. Ah, please work. Well, let's try closing. What? It's not for the coffins. It's the entrance. Won't this keep us from going to the cemetery? Let's try to open it back up. Hmm. Thank goodness. It was entrapped then. But it's strange. This is supposed to be the coffin control system. It seems we'll have to disable level 2 security then. The fingerprint was enough? Meow? <sighs> Can't just make this shit easy, can they? Don't give up. There must still be a way. It's still the, the remaining girl. There might be all to be there isn't expect here. I'll head back to the cemetery for now. Hinako's waiting. Because they're the other one that doesn't really want to help. Hey, you. Listen. Just a moment ago. I shut her close and blocked the entrance. That was us. We explained everything to Hinako. You turn off the pairing. Yep, it's true. Hey, Hinako. Kiramata. Let's make up with Sarah and everyone, okay? This isn't some joke. How are you planning to survive doing that? If there's a way for both the survivors and dummies to live, then tell us. Then, can you kill them? Because I can't do it. I can't kill them. Well, they're so nice. It's still impossible. No, the life sensor. I can't just take a hand being held out to me. You mean... An ID card. If you have an ID card, you might be able to disable another layer of security. What do you mean? My, remember when we were woken up? Um... I remember. There was this strange machine. Midori was in front of it. And he used this machine. He used a card with his photo on it. That's what you mean by an ID card? Huh. It'd be my benefit to let Keiji die. But I feel disgusting not repaying the favor. Hinako. At any rate, Minori's gotta have that card. Let's go question him, Wan Wan. Bark. Let's go together. You too, Hinako. Alright. Fine. The Fellowship has reassembled. Except for Keiji. Keiji, how are you faring? What cow for a pillow? Once you get open, I'll let you sleep with my Mew Mew Choo Mew Chan cushion. Meow, meow. Wow. Finally sharing with me, eh? She tried to borrow it before. Huh? No mutery. I could have sworn he was here. <sighs> Come on, we need an ID card. Something's on the desk. Obtain a transceiver. One of the transceivers in. This? Obtain an ID card. Seriously? Isn't this it? What's going on? Did he go somewhere and leave his stuff behind? My motive is all complex. That's strange, isn't it? It is curious. Hmm. An ID card of Midori. Real name Sohayori's face on. Wait, hold up, I saw preferences there. 
That I can answer for you later, all right? Let's use that ID card we found. There's a slot for a card here. Hmm. This is... Hold up. Hold on. This is just suspicious. But it's the same card Hinako remembers, ain't it? It's got Midori's photo. But there's no way Midori would forget something so important. Still. Don't use that. Ho ho ho! That's what you get, game, for giving me the option. Like, hey, that's kind of suspicious. Yeah, it kind of is. The so. I mean, green hair. I mean, no, the Shin AI. That card is a fake. If you put it in the machine, it'll activate a trap. So we really did almost fall for a trap. That was a close one. Put down the ID card. I'll talk if you want. Things seem pretty tough for you after all. What should we talk about? About Midori. Please tell us more about Midori. The one you know as Hiori. Hiori. Well, he... He's researching human memory. He's a researcher? Well, ever since he was little, um... He really loved... Humans. Beep boop. What? He loved them so much that, um... He would break them, apparently. <laughs> what makes him hurt? What makes him suffer? What pains him physically? What pains him mentally? What do they learn? What do they remember? What do they forget? He played with humans he got involved with, until he'd exhausted them, it seems. <laughs> hey, are you for real? Day after day, he'd make in many a human as test subject. In doing that, it seems he learned ways of manipulating memory. Okay. Is that kind of thing possible? It doesn't seem easy, of course, but... With the right conditions and equipment, it's possible to an extent. If our memories disappeared, how do we remember them, Bark? I don't know, but... He already wants you to remember them. So, who knows? Maybe he prepared something. That's about all I know. Please, tell us where the ID card is. Don't tell anyone I told you, alright? This was a while ago, but... Hiori was whistling while working a machine. His eyes were glittering, as if he was thinking, I wonder if everyone's having fun. Then Miss Maple showed up. Maple? Miss Maple yelled and cried and laughed, and pleaded with him, saying she wanted to be with him forever. Even Hiyori had to give in, it seems. So he reluctantly wrote a letter, but even when he gave it to her, Miss Maple wouldn't leave. So of no other choice, he gave her his ID card. So Maple has the ID card now. Would she give it to us? <laughs> I'm thinking there's no way. She'll definitely get mad. She'll kill you. You should give up on that. Sounds pretty dangerous. Well, we've asked him everything we can. Oh, right. I'm on Miss Maple. There might be a book on how to beat her in the library. We gotta fight again? If you can get an upgrade. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Mega Man! I warn you, so don't blame me. You gotta defeat Dr. Wily, Mega Man! Uh... No other option. We'll have to do something about Maple. So, is there anything else I can do here? Uh, not really. Is there anything here? No. The green books are neatly lined up. This is the one. The book that mentions Maple's weakness. Obtain the green book. Is just one gonna be enough? Might as well take them all. Obtain all the green books. The bookcase staircase closed back up. Meow. They're dangerous. If something had been caught in that, that'd kill them right there. Now we just need to know where she is. All we got to go on is a name. 
You have only a name. Someone does come to mind. That girl in the discussion room. Mmm. Desserts. She looked like a violet... Violent, rather. <laughs> obstructor, but... I guess we'll just have to go see. What was the room? I don't remember. No, that, that's... It's definitely not that. Uh... It's somewhere, I'll find it. Okay, yeah. I, thought, I, I was trying to remember, I was like, oh, was this the bathroom? I'm like, oh wait, there's no bathroom here. Sarah, don't tell me she's here. Yes. This door even open? All oh, right, none of them know. This door opens if a pair hold hands. Lude. Whoa, a cute method that gets your heart racing. Hurry, let's all hold hands, Morao. This'll do her. We're all set. It's like I'm babysitting. Please don't treat me like a kid. You have a bucket on your head. Oh, your fingers are so nice, miss. I feel like Rako's fingers would be nice. Hey, that tickles. Will it still work even with gloves on? Bark, meow, wan wan. I'm super not taking them off, Bark. But the door didn't open, and she refused to change. Why, Wolf? Hmm. I wonder if only one pair can enter. Eh? Then we have to fight with only two people? No. We should have a discussion to make her hand over the ID card. Shit. Well, who's going? Who'd ever want to do something so dangerous? Me. We'll go. Renmaru. Good luck. Good luck with that. Hey, we're a pair, remember? We already met her before. She should be less wary of us. But we're always relying on Sarah, because I'm the main character. Ain't Sarah the one who wants to save Keiji the most? Can't leave any regrets. That's true. All right, counting on you. If anything happens, leave the room ASAP. Right. The other stepped away from the door. Look, it opened. We just have to do this. Ah, Sarah, Ben Maru. I'm glad you came back. Hey! I'll get tea. Tell me how it's been for you two. Well, for now, let's talk. And be careful not to offend her. Right. It's ready. Let's have a relaxing ch chat. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's talk to Maple once we're prepared. Strongest doll, Maple. Hey there, it's me. For deaf game participants around the nation, troubled by obstructors, I bear good tidings. Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstructor doll, Maple. It's the crevice in her back. Remember this and you'll still be an obstructor master. If I'll report, a new weakness has been discovered for the strongest of the dolls, Maple. The key is a link between emotions and colors. Red is anger, blue is sadness, yellow is joy. Wow! Hey look, it's Amori. Knowing is half the battle. Remember this and you'll soon be an obstructor king. The secret's out. The unknown weakness of the strongest doll, Maple, laid bare. When she's happy, have fun together. When she's angry, hear her out. When she's sad, show her kindness. You like normal? Be sure to treat her with care. Remember this and you'll soon be an obstructor god. <laughs> well, shall we have a tea party? She began pouring tea into cups. Here you go. Can you tell what this is by the smell? <laughs> this fruity aroma, it must be... Don't drink it? No, I don't think like that matters. They wouldn't play that just yet. It's chamomile. Correct. I'm glad, Sarah. You know your tea. <laughs> well, I took a sip of the tea. Nice one, Sarah. Let's keep it up and act friendly. Alright, Nacho. Let's do this together. Hey, hey. I had a question for you two. Have you gotten friendly with each other? I'll be happy if you have. 
Have we become friendly or not? It's an unspeakable relationship. That can be taken multiple ways. I'm tempted to hit it. At this point, I can't really talk about the relationship we have. Ramar, you spat out. Do you hate tea? Yeah, we should probably reload. <laughs> no, it's it's my organs, you know? They, they shorted out. We're having a good chat, too. Was that my fault? You're both acting a little strange. Okay, we've become friendly. Yeah, we're on pretty good terms now. Good, I'm glad. I always believed you two could become friends. Friends, huh? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I, I saw the undertones in that little statement. You're both acting a little strange. You seem nervous, like you want to talk to me about something. Am I wrong? Uh, can't let her suspect us. It's not really anything. I want to know your name. I want to talk about something. How about your name? Actually, I want to know your name. You never told us, right? I'm glad. You're so you're interested in me, Sarah. Sorry for not telling you my name before. I'm Maple. Technically an obstructor. I knew it. You're the... Uh, uh, so your name's Maple. Yeah. I'm happy to hear you use my name, Ranmaru. Hey, could it be you two... Want to ask about Hiyori? We do... But what if she gets jealous? Yes, we want to know. Please tell us, Maple. I really like Hiyori. I'm in love with him. But Hiyori doesn't like me yet. But we're getting closer little by little. Hee <laughs> hee. Little by little, huh? You're a good match. Did you get a present? Did you get some kind of present from him, perhaps? Well, I'm impressed you knew, Sarah. I was really happy with the present Hiyori gave me. It's a very, very precious letter. Hee <laughs> hee. Letter. I want to walk by Hiyori's side and live with him. But I shouldn't be selfish, should I? Hey, Maple. Show me the letter. Might be too forward. Did you get anything else? Did you get anything else, maybe? How observant, I did. This letter is my treasure. But I received something even more amazing. Which is... Hiori's card. Card. Yes, it's the most wonderful card. When I insert it... I can sense Hiyori inside me. Wow. Could that be the ID card? What does she mean, insert, though? <laughs> I'm having such fun. Sorry for going on about myself. I want to hear more about you two. Hey. Hey, both of you. Do you feel like... You'll win? <laughs> I'm not trying for it. I don't know. I don't know. I had no idea if... Well then, I'll tell you something special. If you win, Sarah and Ranmaru, you two can leave together. What? Sarah, what's the smallest number of people who can do a majority vote? That would be... Three. That would be three, right? Correct. You need to have at least two against one, or it can't be the majority vote. But what if all but two people died? Then you couldn't have a vote. Right. So there's a final round rule. The two survivors live together for a while. Then pledge an oath that one will be human, and one will be a doll. They decide through discussion, and end the ritual. Is that true? But that's a bonus stage. A rule for a special case. If you survive as a pair, you can win as a pair. I'd be happier that way. I want Hiyori to live. I want you to win, Sarah. Huh? I sense people outside the door. Are your friends waiting outside? Ah! Sorry for the long chat. I hope we can talk again. Ah! Hold on! The ID card! Maple is cleaning up the tableware. Ah, what do we do? Sarah. Look at Maple's back. Beep boop. The ID card. Now's our only chance to grab it. Do we go for it? But whatever's like too obvious. We could die. 
Or Ramaru could die, but I could live, which would be a better option. Ramaru, do it! I reached toward Maple. What? Um... Are you thinking something mean? That's not... <laughs> Ramaru took the letter from the table. Please, Maple, give us the ID card. We need some midori can write to follow up this letter, all right? Don't touch that. Ramaru, no! Don't touch Yori's letter! No mercy. Give it back, Yori. Yikes! Just completely flipped a lid! We have no choice but to fight after all. The two of us got no chance. We gotta think of a way to escape. She'll kill us if we give her the opportunity. Maple's angry. Yeah, it's about anger, all right. So mean. I won't forgive you. Calm down. We have to pound on the door and call for help. Maple's going to attack. I'll be a decoy. You do something in the meantime. Ramaru, take the hit for me. Ramaru just barely dodged Maple's attack. Close one. Hell, I already died once. This ain't gonna scare me. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're kind of scared. Maple started crying. <sighs> Why so mean? Huh? She started to cry. With the pendant torn, call for help. Go with this. Knock, knock. It's Knuckles. I pondered repeatedly on the closed door. Everyone, help us! I hear pounding from the other side. I got through to them. Alright, now we have to trust the guys outside will open the door for us. Guitaro, do it! Meanwhile, we'll grab the ID card and turn into her back. Oh, she's happy. Maple started laughing. <laughs> what? What's going on with her? It seems Maple's emotions are all over the place. We don't need a decoy yet. Go with this. Hi-yi! I was able to easily get behind the smiling Maple. Now I'll take the ID card from her back. What the? Hold on. Those three buttons are different colors. Get the yellow one? Yellow button. Yellow button. The ID card popped right out. Alright, I got it, Red Mario. Nice one. Now we just have to escape somehow. Ah! Oh! Never forgive, never forgive, never forgive. Hey, comment never forgive if you'll never forgive. Why did you take Hiori from me? I hate you, Renmar. I hate you, Sarah. I just wanted to be friends. That is true. Something black extends from Maple's back. Ah! The sharp black object pierced through the door. That that was close. Would she have like missiles back there? Ah. Pixie Sarah, are you okay? Meow. It's dangerous. Don't go out in front. I was wondering what the kind of monster could be. But this is Maple? Everyone. Talking didn't work out, huh? Looks like you got the ID card. Let's run, everyone. You're so mean. Gang up to bully me. So mean. Oh no. Okay, that's that's a little weird. Sad. Glad. No mercy. Kill. Don't want to kill you. I'll kill you. Run. Die. Let's be friends. Hey, she's starting to act really strange. Yes, Ranmaru, that's an understatement. She became some kind of robo pancake spider. I think she's upset. When someone becomes a robo pancake spider, they're very upset, okay? Mabel's emotions are all jumbled up. I don't know we we should handle this, but we shouldn't fight her. Is there some way we can reconcile? Maple's angry. I won't forgive you. Any of you. So intense. Observe situation. Say, yeah, <laughs> we'll do this one. Let time pass. Observe situation. 
Maple's angry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's obvious. Everyone's here. Does anyone resolve this without finding? Read the letter. Observe her behavior. Sniff out something suspicious. Go with this. Hold on a sec, this letter. It's all about this girl. Well, I mean, it's a love letter Minduri wrote to curry favor for her, ain't it? I don't mean like that. It's an instruction manual. You serious? Let's read it. Um, let's see here. The strongest doll Maple is a lonesome girl. You shouldn't use violence with her. What's important is sympathizing with her and being her friend. Understanding her emotions and becoming a good friend is the key to peace. Uh, that was some good info. This ain't funny. Is there anything in the world more of a pain to deal with than a woman's heart? I understand if it's not your forte, but please. Oh, look. The thing on her stomach. It says that's her friendship meter. Well then, we should keep an eye on it and reconcile when her friendship is high enough. Alright. You deal the final blow, Ansu. What? I have to do the reconciling? Damn right you do. Alright, already. Rest of you make sure to build friendship, okay? Maple started crying. You're bullying me. You're all bullying me. Ain't that our line? Get back the letter. Have a chat. What do I do if I not punch her? Should I tell jokes? That's for later. Observe. Sniff out something suspicious. Shut up and listen. Baseball impersonations. Why won't you say anything? Sad. So sad. Maple's sadness increased. That ain't it. I thought listening to her how sad you were. Oh, I reversed in my head. You must think I'm a pain. You think I'm just depressing. Ain't it like that? Let's talk it out, alright? Rico, good luck. Damn, it's tough to a woman's heart. Maple started laughing. <laughs> I'll give you something good. <laughs> Maple took out a handkerchief from a shelf. Won't you accept it? <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? A trap? But it might help us closer with her. Accept the handkerchief. Yes. Kana accepted the handkerchief. Maple seems happy. <laughs> I'm glad Kana accepted it. Yes, thank you very much. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Mabel got angry. I won't forgive you. Any of you. I can't keep up all this meow. Now you would listen. Because it's listen when they're angry. If I remember correctly. Huh. You're reflecting on your actions. You can't say anything back. Maple's anger calmed a little. You understand where we're coming from, Maple? Just a little, but... Maple started crying. I've had enough. So sad. So sad. Smiling then angry, then crying. In her emotions changing in order? It's a nice handkerchief, but her name's on it. Let's thank her and give it back. Thank you for giving this to us. Take it back right away. You're giving me this? Thank you. Maple's sadness was lessened. I'm giving this back. Please use it to wipe your tears. Kana has cried lots up to now, too. So kind. Kana, I love you. So kind. Maple started laughing. Jeez. Even if it's creepy, I'd rather just get a smile all time, Rao. Of this. <laughs> it's so fun to chat with you, Hinako. Maple smiling happily. 
Right. Sure is, Maple. Ha! Huh. So you can at least put on a fake smile. And what can you do as a punch things? What's that, you damn kid? Maple got angry. Enough! Give him back, Yori. Oh dear. I got it. Baseball player impersonations. Go for it. Oh, whenever I move, the pain is in my. <laughs> Guitar fell over from the pain. I forgot about that. It seemed to earn Maple's sympathy a little. Muscle Grill, you okay, Meow? It's just fine. Don't worry, Keenan. I know I'm still debating like how to say your name. Please don't move. You're wound well. I shouldn't be sleeping while well, you all are giving your best. Just rest. We don't need brute strength right now. So keep your stamina up, Kutaro. Sorry, everybody. Maple started crying. No one understands me. So cruel, so cruel. We'll understand. Please believe us, Maple. Get back the letter. What was that animation? You're giving it back? Thank you, Ranmaru. Maple's sadness was lessened. Um, sorry about that. Cheer up, okay? So kind. Ranmaru, I hated you before, but I've changed my mind a little. Maple started laughing. At least she's attacking when she's smiling. Go with this. Is that a joke? <laughs> so funny. So fun. Maple's smiling happily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. What? She laughed at such lame jokes? Bastard. I won't forget that one. Kitty, don't take it seriously. Maple got angry. Come on already. I've told you again and I can't give it back. I want to get ready to run. What do we have left? Is there anyone left? We can just go try it. Whatever. Handshake of friendship. Reconcile? We did something really awful to you. We want to apologize. Sorry. But look, we really need that ID card. There's this cagey person whose life is on the line. All right, Anzu. You'll give it back later, right? I should have trusted you. I'm glad. No one got hurt. Except for Kutaro. Maple. Now we're all friends again. Maple entrusted the ID card to me. Thank you, Maple. Head hurts. M Maple? The battery runs out of the head. Run, everyone. They just got blow up. I, I can't. She's still acting strange. I'll kill you. No. Run, everyone. No way. We can't get away. Damn it. Enough of this shit. Just do whatever you please. I'm gonna smash you. Dumbass, get away. Don't be a chicken. Attacks come from the back. Um, Kurmata, those can reach around. If I just close the distance, they don't mean shit. Like, literally, they can reach around. I'll crush that head of yours. Hermata! Yeah. Uh, Hermata! Run to floor five. Grab my shoulder, Kurumata. Yeah. Harry. Uh. Yeah. What are you doing? Hurry. Wait, everyone. Kutaro's injured. Rico. Sorry, but I need your shoulder. Got it. Grab on. Kutaro put Kurumana on Rico's shoulder. What are you doing? You. Now go. You guys go on ahead. Kutaro. Understood. But big sister <laughs> Need real quick on the uptake. We're gonna save Keiji for sure, got it? 
Tip you, Taro. Go, everyone. Ho ho ho! I'm still worried about Muscle Grail and Meow. You want to go back? You'll die. You and him both. What does he mean by that, Wolf? Muscle Grail won and lose, Meow. I'm sorry. Keen. Put me down, Wolf. Soon it's Bex. Run, everyone. To the elevator. Muscle Gorilla. Mr. Kutaro. Get on, everyone. Close the doors quick. We'll be wiped out if she catches up. No, don't. We should wait, Big Sister. Gina. Wait until the last second. Oh. Hope we don't die. Kitaro, hurry. Don't be ridiculous. Not go force me press the close button. Ah! Uh -huh. The elevator doors slowly closed. And we quietly grew distant from floor four. Kutaro. My. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gein. But this is our best option. God damn it. Was this really for the best? I have to believe that. That's all I can do now. Please. May this ID card at least be the thing we need. Let's go to the control room. So this is... I'm looking to see if there's any game overs here. So we're just gonna see if there's any scenes here. This is if we failed the beginning one, I think. Sarah! Are you thinking she never harmed us anyway? Huh? Just disappear. Sarah ran Maru both. Doing black and stand for Maple's back. Uh. Black object pierced the ceiling. Ah! Uh. Sarah! My head hurts. Something's dripping from my head down my cheek. Blood. Did the ceiling fall down? Hey, Sarah! 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 It's hot. My head hurts like it's going to split. No! Don't die! Don't die, damn it! Ramor's voice sounds muffled. Am I dying? No, I still... I still... Game over. Alright, let's see if we get a game over here. Enough! If you won't give it back, I'll kill you all! You'll die regretting taking Hiyori from me! Yikes, we can't... Get a grip, you! Okay, so defaults you grabbing her. Just doing whatever you please. I'm gonna smash you. Dumbass, get away! Don't be a chicken. Or attack him from the back. If I just close the distance, they don't mean shit. I'll crush that head of yours. Surprise Pikachu face. Gah! Kermada! I'll kill you, all of you! Looks like it's the same so far. Is it the same? No. It's a little di it's I can't tell if the sprite's different. So that's probably gonna affect something later. Um, I'll come back to that later. I'll go back to my main save. If we use this. I did card amplification successful. All right, it was the real one. Huh? Hey, where'd the security camera footage go? What's going on? But the other machines are working. There's no problem. So only the security footage disappeared. The monitors aren't displaying anything. The monitor reads coffin control system. Which function do you want? The shower is currently open. What will you do? Close? This Mabel won't be able to get into the cemetery. That will secure Keiji's safety. Only Kitaro made it there. The shutter has been closed. Which function do you want? Coffin controls. You can manage all the coffins at once. What will you do? Open. If we open them, we can save Keiji. 
There's no need to hesitate. We all put ourselves in danger and suffered wounds for this. If this doesn't work, then no one can be saved. KG. All the coffins have been opened. So now, the coffins are open, right? They should be, but... We can't see the camera, so who can say? Oh my god, it's like a magician's trick. Midori's gonna mess with us. What? What the? These are... The victim videos. The videos of our attempts? No, I don't want to see this ever again. The videos won't stop. Hey now. Wake up. This is what happened to you all. Uh. Ranmaru Kageyama. You've been revived. Revived? That's right. You remember it, don't you? Uh, sort of. Vaguely. You'll continue living until the end of your established lifespan. You mean, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> and if you don't want to go back to being a corpse, then before the game ends, have the one you're paired with take your place. Take my place. Simply make her into a corpse instead. Kill your partner. Kill my partner. <laughs> Good luck. What was that? Our first moments. Right after we recreated my Midori. He showed us our deaths like that. And then... He put fear into you, huh? How awful. Ugh. It's just too cruel. Thinking about it now, it's the worst possible way things could happen. Who could be shown something like this and have the will to resist? Especially when the one dying in the video is you. So stupid. Yeah, see, the wound is smaller in this route. You gonna say you'll help them? Even knowing that. I mean... Gotta be shitting me. Is that your resolve? Pathetic. Karamata. Well, what's the matter now? I'm dead meat anyhow. Karamata. Hurry up. Give the ID card to that damn woman. That oughta stop her rampage. I knew it. He's at his limit. But, even so, Kermada is still alive. What should I do? If we disable the the thing where they blow up, if the batteries go dead, theoretically you could revive him, maybe? He's a machine. The, the AI might just be all located in the head. How about you click fix Kermada? I can't just leave him like this. I'll fix Kermada first. And how are you gonna do that? It's over for me. Hurry up and go. It's amazing. I can even still move. I can't. Kano will stay here. Stupid, selfish brat. Sarah, let Kana handle this. The rest of you, return the ID card. But, please trust me. We might just have to go. Reiko. If there's anyone we can save, it's only the guy downstairs. We just have to do what we can. I'm sorry, Kuramata. Huh? The buttons aren't doing anything. Huh? Why ain't it working? Did Maple break it? What are you doing, Meow? Must have grown up Mr. Policeman, I gonna... We gotta go back. Let's see if any machines in the control room can activate the elevator. Come on, we're in a hurry here. Ramaru? What's wrong? What's the matter? Why did you stop? Sorry. Let's go. Huh? We're caught in Karamata. The hell did they get to? Um, guys? Huh? It's terrible. Kermana just ran out of the room. And then Kana went after him. Say what? What now, Meow? Go for them, one one Wait. I want to tell you something first. 
What is it, green hair? Is everyone ready? Listen. There is a way to keep Kiramata alive. What? What do you mean? Tell us. By charging him. See, I mentioned that, right? Charging. Take a look at that screen. Here. This is information of Naomichi Kuramata. There's been no major damage to the head. So even if the torch was taking a big hit, this battery's still working, right? Then we can still save Kuramata. Yeah. If we just charge him up, you can extend his life. It's literally exactly what I said. Though, the damage is serious, so I don't know how long it'll last. There's a charger. Somewhere on this floor. We've searched a bunch and never found anything like that, Rao. Huh? Strange. Is there anywhere you haven't searched? Someone we haven't searched. Police blocks? Or the locker room? One of the two. No, we looked at the police box, didn't we? How about the locker room? It's small, so we finished looking around quick. No, not the room. I mean, what's inside the lockers? We couldn't check unless we unlocked them, Wan Wan. Hold on. We might be able to, actually. Just use the ID card. What? For in case you forget the code or something, that ID card should be able to unlock them. But hold on. What are we doing about Maple? Are we going to leave her to rampage just because the elevator won't work? Huh? The elevators. That's strange. In that case, we display my state on that screen. Oh, sure. Hold on a sec. This is the current data for Mai. Good. So at the very least, Mai is safe right now. Yep. If she were broken, it'd show a big old skull icon. I didn't ask for that. Which means Muscle Gorilla... Maybe he's hiding to get rid of Mai somewhere. Then, we gotta find the Charger first. And we'll find Kuramana too. And save his life. Right. I'll try accessing the computers and see if I can control the elevator. You can do that, Meow? But of course, it's a secret, okay? Watching you guys just makes me want to help. Worrying as that is. Let's go, everyone. We won't sacrifice anyone else. The lockers you open up the ID card? Meow. Let's look around for that charger. Nothing. Gonna open them all anyway. Could be money in one of them. Everybody likes money. What's this? A lantern. Obtain a lantern. A small lantern with a switch. What happens if you turn it on? I have a kind of bad feeling. Prepare myself by saving. I'll flip the switch. Big Sisera, do you hear a noise? Woof. A noise. Yeah, the door closed. Woof. Hang on, another trap? That's too dang many. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're dealing with basically Japanese anime jigsaw. You wanna play a game? Not good. At this rate, it'll go like before. I don't like this meow. Not again. Uh, what are we dealing with this time? Weird. Oh god, the lockers come to life. They're gonna eat us. Meow. The whole room is attacking us, wolf. Calm down, Keen. I'm here. Believe in me. It's a Sarah. Uh... Uh... I'm kind of afraid to touch anything. A small iron of a switch. What happens if you turn on? Huh? Shining light on the lockers is making something show up. It's the room symbols. No idea what it means, though. Is this a hint for solving the puzzle? Touch the power off. Which land off. I'm smell the lockers. A whole bunch of stuff fell on meow. What are we supposed to do with this? Oh.
broadcast mic goes in the yeah you got put it in the open one now I wasn't fully paying attention before but I'm assuming the layout was the middle one um, if we're going on the original room layout the middle one would be like the control room I'm just gonna throw out something as a guess so I don't have to use that again wrong shoot I guess that wasn't it Wrong! Dang, pull the ceiling grew stronger. My color's being dropped by the magnet! I'm being pulled to the ceiling again! Magnet pull gets stronger, and we spend time taking actions. Whenever we fail the puzzle, I bet. Everyone's lives on the line. Not that carefully. Yeah. It's the room that's missing. So I, I inversed it. The mic was supposed to go on the left one. Oops. All right, I reset it so I actually could pay attention and I know what the puzzle actually is. Um, they gave me different items though, so it's somewhat randomized. Uh, I could turn green. Okay, that one's correct. I forgot what the bomb one was. Yeah, well, I could turn green. We got it. I'm smell the lockers. I don't fully remember what they were. No! Yeah, okay, I remember that one. Was it Bell? No, it was Book, maybe. Yeah. Top right was the boxing ring. Or it was top middle. It was one of the two. I'm not giving you this wrong. No, it was right. Okay, so it was a control room. I, I thought I was right on that. So then... Oh god. I'm trying to fully remember one in the top left. The middle one was the, the gate. So, a gate... What would you count as like a gate? Locker? That would be more like a locker right there. No, I was wrong. Now lose that. It's consumed. Top left was... Yeah. Key room. Skull from the middle. Okay, and the bomb right was... School bag. Yeah. The middle one, we still don't know. Oh, what? Try it. So it was padlock, because it's a gate. <sighs> I'll save that for the locker. So lockers were never an option in the first place, that's why. The force pulling our collar is weakened and the door is open. <sighs> that was rough, meow. But I knew Big Sister would save us, Juan Juan. Everybody okay? Sure, somehow. Right, where's the charger? We didn't find it anywhere. Congratulations, you won the door! Huh? The lockers. What? I've never one of these trick doors? I don't want to go in there! Hmm. We just have to end her. Let's go. Whatever choice do we have? Sure enough. Okay, let's try purposely failing. I won't lose me all. Oof, it's getting rougher. It's okay, I can still think. Shoot, I guess it wasn't it. It hurts, I'm almost at my limit. It must be even more tense for Gein. Shoot, I guess that wasn't it. Shoot, I guess that wasn't it. No more, meow. Gene, take my hand. 
I grabbed Gin's hand as strong as the force pulled him up. Uh-oh. Ah, that's not it. Gin's neck will... What should I do? Because if I let go... Ah! Suddenly I felt myself pulling Gin with less force. Huh? Did the magnet weaken? No, you popped the hand off. No, that isn't it. My legs. It hurts. I feel pain like my head's shattering. A splitting explosion echoes through my body. Even with my blurry vision, I can see it clearly. The ceiling is approaching. Game over.